everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel if you are watching this on mine and if you're watching it on Victoria. So welcome to Victoria's channel. Um, we're going to start this video by introducing ourselves in case you are watching it on the other person's video and you don't know who we are. So I am Amy of Amy Nicole Studio and I post videos here about sewing tutorials, things I've made, and I do weekly sewing vlogs where I talk about what I've been working on in the studio, although it's more like every other week these days, but <laughs> that's totally fine. And you can also find me on Instagram at Amy Nicole Studio and at amynicolestudio.com where I blog and sell sewing patterns. And I am Victoria Smith, also known as Victoria Lucille Ann, um, on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, and I have a blog as well, which is also victorialucilleann.com. So it's all the same. Um, I have not been blogging quite as much lately, uh, but I've been really stepping up on YouTube. So I have about two a week, but I don't hold myself to that, but it's been pretty steady. Um, and I talk about all sorts of things. Fabric hauls are my absolute favorite because it means I have new fabric, but I also do um, plans for what I want to sew, what I have been sewing, what I plan to sew, like, um, you know, capsule wardrobe type things, and um, a lot of pattern reviews as well as some photography and other random things. So lots of things on my channel. So yeah. <laughs> And today we are talking about the massage top that we both made and we're both wearing and we both um, hacked into a dress. Yes. And yes. A pattern by Delphine Morset, who is a French pattern designer, which you sew a lot of French patterns. Mm -hmm. for yeah, I can't resist them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sew very many of them. Um, and when we both made this, it was in French and we were Google translating, but now the pattern is available in English. Mm -hmm. oh. um, it's, uh, we haven't seen the English version, but um, there are, there were a few difficult parts that we'll get to and talk about, but um, I think that they'll probably be made easier when you can read them in English. Yes probably. And we just looked it up. The pattern is available in UK, right? UK sizes, um, 34 to what was the, I think it's probably EU, EU size 34 to 54. Okay. And I made the 34 and you made the 36. And I think size, uh, matters a little bit more if you are, um, doing the dress because you have to take your hips into account, but you're going to be doing that on your own and you can make them as wide as you want. So you really just need to have it fit your bust and it's very, actually very loose. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty easy fit. It's not, um, it's not too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And there are multiple views for mm -hmm. this pattern and the, um, which we'll pop a picture up, but you can also see there's four different views. Two of the views just have the straight across neck and back. And then the view that we fell in love with is the one with mm -hmm. this really beautiful scooped back. Um, and which I'll turn around so you can see. It's a very pretty. Yours is so good. There's ruffles. And um, we both decided that would be better as a dress. Yes. Yes, it was um, something that we were talking about probably, I think maybe a couple of weeks before they actually posted that hack on their Instagram. Um, and we thought it would be really cool to do together and hack together. And we just kind of did it on our own. We didn't really share how we were gonna do it. So Amy decided to do different fabrics for hers and it looks fantastic and I decided to do um, just one but we will talk about our fabrics later. So as we mentioned we both did the dress and we kind of stumbled through the dress hack but now there is a tutorial on the Delphine Morissette Instagram on their stories that totally walks you through if you want to hack this into the dress it's very simple and it will be very much better than what we both did. So don't 
do what we did, do what they did. Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't follow what we're going to tell you. Yeah. Um, we are going to talk y'all through what we did for our dress hacks, but um, don't do what we did. Yeah. Just don't do it. Just yeah. don't do it. So what I did is I looked at the front and I noticed that it was just straight. So I extended that 16 and a half inch inches. But this part, um, this is the back piece. It has like this little point here. And I kind of went down from there 16 and a half inches. And then I lined up the side seams to make sure they lined up and that they would sew together well. Um, and then I basically did what the pattern has and had like a little bottom section, except that section was about 16 and a half or 17 inches as well. And made it the width of the fabric for the front piece and the width of the fabric for the back piece. So that it was really, really gathered. Um, as you can see here, lots of gathered. And that's what I wanted. I wanted like a really exaggerated gathered effect. Um, so that's what I did for the hat. And um, the dress itself, um, I will talk about later. I had an issue here, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> My hack is very similar. Um, my proportions are a little different. So as you can see, the back piece, this is the back and it's shaped totally weird. Um, which what I should have noticed is that what the designer did was slashed here and spread, which is what creates all of those beautiful gathers in the back. Um, and how they recommend you hack the dress is to um, slash up here and spread this out, which basically just brings the side seam out either straight or flared. And you do the same thing in the front, which yeah. is what you should have done, but we just extended. So I did pretty much the same thing as you, Victoria. I extended yeah. my proportions are a little different. I added um, about eight inches to the bottom and then my tier is about okay. 13 inches. Yeah, they're just a little bit different. So let's talk about the issues we had with the dress. Yeah. So one of my issues is very minor, but, and I told Amy about this and it kind of, um, and hers looks a lot better than mine, but I didn't really try this on before I sewed down the elastic. And so it's just pulling in tighter than I wanted to. Um, so I think that try it on, see how it looks on you and then, um, go from there. And the other thing is I had to just kind of tie these up because I like to wear it without an undergarment, which some people can do that, people can, but I can, <laughs> um, and, uh, cause there's, you know, where am I? we won't say why anyway. Um, and it could this up just a little bit but I tied it because it kind of helps hug underneath my arms and that kind of helps anything from like showing because it really like makes me feel secure and tight and um that's why I did that I guess I could have just shortened the straps but um this was enough for me so if I wanted also to re just reverse that then I could just pull this out and wear like a little tube bra or something underneath and then it would have a different look and be more relaxed so that's kind of why I didn't want to just permanently change it but so yeah that's what I ended up doing yeah and I could probably even raise my straps a little bit because it does dip quite I do like a breezy underarm but it is a little low so I was just telling Victoria that I could raise mine. So you can see the difference in my front neckline. And what I did was I just measured like how wide this is. And that's how wide I cut my elastic for. Although I do lose, like my, I don't have quite as cute of a ruffle in the front as Victoria's does because it's not gathered as much in there. Um, and my other issue was that since my fabric, oh, we didn't talk about our fabrics. So my fabric is, yes, a, we did that. yeah, is my fabric is a cotton wall, um, for the top tier. And then for the bottom tier, it is a, uh, cotton lawn, cute, cute combination, but this cotton does not do well with like a straight up and down shape, which is kind of what you end up with 
when yeah. you don't do the proper hack that like flares out. So it gave me a very weird like potato sack bubble butt yeah. vibe. After no, I mean, you didn't look like a potato sack, but I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> um, after the, it was all gathered in. So what I ended up doing to fix that was I added a triangle of fabric on each of the side seams to give me more of that like flowy dress look that I wanted. And then I had to recut my bottom tier because they weren't big enough um, to fit in. Yeah. Um, and I also added some pockets, of course. Yes, you but are the queen of those. <laughs> I just skipped them. <laughs> But the it it looks way better now that I fixed it. So if you are doing this dress hack, um, what I did with adding the triangles is gonna give gave me the same shape of the, doing the proper hack yeah. that they have on their Instagram. Yeah. What I've given you, and that I'll probably do if I ever hack this again. But yeah, notice it as much in your fabric, Victoria, because yeah, you use a different fabric. Yeah, the viscose really helped like the drape of the dress and I didn't really need it to be quite as wide um, in order to relax, but I still didn't like, I still felt kind of like a box and like it was too thin. Um, and so I would have probably liked to do that slash and spread method, but I do wear a belt with it and that helps. And that was Amy's idea. I loved it. Um, <laughs> she's like, it's for a belt. And I was like, oh my God. And I can't wear it without a belt because I just love it too much. So, um, and I got some new belts recently. So yeah. So my fabric, um, I think was good for the stress, but I just feel like I wish it would have been a little bit more of a slash and spread, um, which that tutorial, by the way, is in their Instagram story highlights. Yes. Um, and it doesn't really, I didn't notice that it said exactly what is it was about to show you, but if you see a pattern piece that looks like this and has the slashes in it and they're spreading it out, that's what you need to watch. <laughs> yes, exactly. And you yeah. can really tell the difference in the fabrics. I'll pop a picture up here of what mine looked like before I fixed it. And it's like, so weird looking and Victoria's just like kind of grazes her body. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be even better if it was bias cut, then it would really like, you know, I love bias cut dresses, but it's not, that would be kind of, I don't know. I guess you could just cut it on the bias, but um, yeah. And then the construction, if we want to talk a little bit about that, there is a link on their pattern website page, like for this pattern to the blog post. It's in French, but there's pictures because the French pattern, I don't know what the English one looks like, but the French did not have any diagrams, which was a little bit confusing um, because in particularly when we, in particular, when we were looking at the construction of this part and the back part um, is a little bit weird. It was fine. It's not that difficult, but if you don't have a picture, you're just kind of like, is that really how it's done? So the blog helps so much and we will put a link down below, but it's also linked on the pattern page. So yeah, go see that. <laughs> Super, super helpful because the the dress itself is very the construction is very easy you can make it very quick yeah um you're just sewing up the side seams sewing up your the side seams of your tier if you're doing a tier and then gathering that and stitching that to the top and the top is just folded down and um, you stitch um, two sti lines of stitching to create your casing. Um, the back is where it gets a little bit confusing since it does have that dramatic mm -hmm. curve. You can't do like a folded back. So there's a separate ruffle piece um, that you sew on. And then when you press the ruffle upwards, that seam allowance gets stitched down and then that is what becomes your casing for your elastic. Um, right. And I think that's really cool, but, but I wouldn't have thought to do it that way. <laughs> yeah. It's very confusing when you're reading it, but once you're doing it, you're like, oh, wow, this is really cool. Yeah. And then the straps are just biased uh, strips, which makes it super yeah. easy. Yeah. And a good chance, like you were saying to me before, lock or to use a different fabric because that yeah. looks, would look super cool. 
I know. I kind of wish I would have done my my straps in the same fabric as my tier. Um, mm -hmm. That could have been really cute. Oh well. But overall, I think we're both really happy with our dresses and yeah. still wear them. And um, we will pop up pictures of both of our dresses um, at the end of the video, so you can see them both. Um, do you have anything else to add? I think we covered everything that we did the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to tell them that this is our second? Yes, second recording. Because <laughs> a screen, okay, so if you're doing a Zoom video and you want to screen record it, it doesn't record any audio, just yeah. so you know. Yes, we but learned that the first way. time, guys. It's our first time. But if you love this collaboration video and want to see more, first of all, be sure to subscribe to both of our channels so you can see more of both of us. But if you want to see more of both of us together, um, <laughs> be sure to like this video and let us know in the comments below what we should make together next. Yeah. And if you want us to have a podcast, you can also put that down there in the comments. I'm just throwing that in there. <laughs> have a podcast. Because we talk all the time and we're always saying we should be recording this. This is so funny or this is so interesting. And we're always planning projects like what we're going to make. This is what I'm doing. Should I do this button? I mean, I'm just like almost every single post on Instagram lately. I just feel like I need to give Amy credit because I, I she helped me in some way, <laughs> shape or form <laughs> with choosing something. It's important to have a sewing buddy that you can bounce your ideas off of. But yes. When you're on your own, sometimes your ideas can go like all crazy. Yes. And the husband gets tired of my questions he, as well. He doesn't like to contribute. So <laughs> Amy's a lot better. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, thanks so much for you guys have us. Do what? I said thanks so much for joining us. Yes, thanks for joining us. And if you have any questions about anything, um, go ahead and write us down below. We haven't seen the English pattern. We haven't done their hack, but we highly recommend it. And if we make it again, I will for sure be using both of those things. <laughs> I would so. love, love, love to make this again in yeah. a fabric more like yours with the hack that has the actual. Yeah. Hello, we mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, me too. I, with more flow and more, I would probably do more of like an A-line shape. I would just like really take it out. Yeah. And so that when it falls, it's like super gathered and just beautiful, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, so I guess that's it. If you guys like this, like we said, subscribe to um, Amy um, or to me, if you don't subscribe to me. Um, and you will get more of this content and we can definitely do this again. Um, and go ahead and like the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up because it will help other people find it. <laughs> so have a good day. Talk to y'all later. Bye, Amy. Bye. Share, but get some more if you want some more. I'm sorry, he came bursting in. Just get some more if you want some more, okay? Oliver, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs>